Hello, my name is Tony, and for my project, I chose to do it on John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy was a killer who killed 33 people. He would rape them, and then he would kill them. He would store them in his basement and put them in coffins that were about 6 feet long. Basically, they were there for years and years, so the skin would come off. There would have to be a way to find out who these people are. Now, this is the part where anthropology comes into play. People need to know who are those 33 victims in John Wayne Gacy's basement. Since there is no skin on them, it would be hard for people to know who they are by just looking at them. The good thing that anthropologists have different methods. They will look at and measure bones to tell sex, height, age, and race. Now, the way anthropologists find the age of the victim, they will have to look at the skull, teeth, the ends of long bones, and also the joints between bones. This is very helpful because your teeth, after you grow up, you start to lose teeth and then you grow some in. Bones, you grow new bones as you age. Also, once you get older, your bones start to smooth out. Now, anthropologists can also identify the victim's sex by looking at the pelvis and the skull. In a woman, her pelvis tends to be much more wider than guys. Now, if you look at the skull, women's skull have rounded foreheads and chins with smooth bones above the eye sockets, while male skulls have foreheads that slope backwards. Now, in this case, another thing anthropologists might have used would be the skull to identify race. To them, there are only three races. There are Negroids, Mongoloids, and Caucasoids. Now, an anthropologist can also identify the person's height by measuring the long bones and using a mathematical formula that takes into account the victim's age, sex, and race. Not only that, but they can also measure the hand and multiply it by 10 which will give the person's approximate height. These are all things anthropologists could look at that might help solve the case. Now this is it for my presentation. Thank you.